Okay, Mum, what do you learn in America? I learned so much stuff. Okay. Absolutely loads and loads of stuff about epigenetics, mm -hmm. whole new science. Mm -hmm. it's, it's genetics, but it's the energy above the genetics. Okay, what does that mean? Now you've asked me a hard question. Okay. <laughs> But what does yeah. that mean? Like, normal people don't get it. Like, well, genetics is it. like, um, you know, it's like whatever runs through the family. Okay. So when things are running through the family, yeah. And it's like, okay, so my my granddad had this. I'm going to have this, and you think the children are going to have it. So mm -hmm. that's genetics, and it's hereditary. Mm -hmm. But epigenetics is a new science which is looking at triggers that actually switch on those genes. Okay. So they're above it. So it all depends on the environment that they're in. Yeah. So, you know, it's not necessarily true that, you know, if your grandfather had cancer, you will have cancer. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just a belief system. Yeah. However, the science now shows you it's your environment that's going to create, you know, help form that cancer because mm -hmm. it's going to switch on certain genes that maybe if you were in a different environment, it doesn't happen. It's like with some people, you'll say, yeah, they had cancer, but I didn't have any. Yeah. You know, but my sister's got it, somebody else has got it. Okay. It's still within the family, mm -hmm. but but this one is epigenetic. It's looking at the science above it, okay. working with that energy, and this is what the the genetic voice printing is doing. Okay. So we what we're doing is um, deleting the patterns that have come through genetics. Mm -hmm. So like in some cases, you'll have some people doing exactly the same stuff as what their grandparents and parents have been doing. Yeah. And there'll be some kids who won't do anything. You know, okay. you have two kids doing totally different things. Yeah. Again, it just invents on, um, um, depends on the environment. Mm -hmm. Okay, <coughs> so can you give an example of how this has happened? I mean, you told me a story about, so about a train or something. All oh, right, Ilania, my friend who I've learned from. Okay. So she's the woman who's created the immersion okay. um, sessions. Mm -hmm. um, the, the chair's been invented by Calvin Young. Okay. So he's the brains behind it. Mm -hmm. And she's now gone on further to formulate her own thing, which is called the immersion. Now, what Ilani had told me was when she, she did this, when she was learning about um, her family and when she'd gone on the chair, she she had experienced two near death experiences. I'm paraphrasing here. You yeah. Know, cut, cut it really short and kept it simple. She had two near death experiences. One was when she was quite young. She just jumped off the the railway line, mm -hmm. and a train had just whizzed by. And then another one when she was a lot older. Um, the barriers had come down, and in America, people will you know wiggle their way through the barriers because the carriages are so long and they sometimes have to sit there for 10-15 minutes. Anyway, she started following the other cars, and as she's following them, she could hear the train coming, and she froze. Yeah. So she just couldn't move on any further, and she could hear this train getting closer and closer, and she's just frozen there, unable to uh, move at all. Finally, she just gets herself out of it, and what she does, she reverses back behind the barrier instead of going forward, mm -hmm. and after she's like, God, that was crazy, you know? Yeah having this experience and then after she whilst we're all during the chair she'd gone back and looked at <clears throat> her grandfather had had an affair and he was having the affair he was the woman he was having the affair with um, the brother and the father got hold of the grandfather and threw him onto the railway track. Oh my gosh. So they throw him on the railway track and it took him 30 days to die. And that's all ever Ilani knew that it took him 30 days to die. Yeah. So that energy, that ex whole experience got transferred over into Ilania, mm -hmm. who was the unborn child at that time. So genetics and hereditary, you could see how that was playing out and how her environment caused those experiences. Yeah. And then she'd also talked about how um, the, the grandmother was um, betrayed. Okay. You know, so when the grandfather died, you know, he left her penniless and also um, he, he was unfaithful to her. Mm -hmm. So jump a whole generation to a head with Ilania, yeah. her lover took her everything and just left her with a suitcase. So again, the same kind of experience yeah. that happened to her, but mom didn't experience that. Mm -hmm. It jumped straight into her. And then she gives another amazing story where um, she's she's got a best friend 
and he was best friends with Lincoln. And um, his friend, the, the friend of Lincoln's, you know, he was a very well-to-do, charismatic man. Mm -hmm. He, you know, he could really talk to the people. People really liked him. And um, he was married, and then he met a, uh, another woman, and he then had to um, do the right thing and tell his wife that he wanted a divorce and get married. So he tells his wife, and she goes to this hotel and jumps off the balcony of the hotel and kills herself. Mm -hmm. And anyway, so he, he loses some of his popularity, but you know, he does the right thing, he marries that yeah. other woman. Then the grandson, so the you know, Ilania's friend, mm -hmm. you know, they the the, the man who had um, the affair, the woman died. They had three three daughters, and one of those daughters is best friends with Ilania. Okay. Now Ilania, um, and then her her friend, son, mm. he was a very charismatic young man, and um, he was really well liked. He was well, well off as well, married, and the same thing happened to him. He fell in love with somebody else, and he told his wife, and his wife, two weeks later jumped off the balcony in a hotel, and you know, from a hotel, and killed herself. Okay. Now this lad had never met his grandfather, didn't know anything about it, but you can see how things generationally are being passed down, and they're going through, through to you, so there's, you know, there's those belief patterns which are in you, and this is where the chair will help you delete some of those things in there, yeah. but you know, when you start joining stories up like that, then you can see where, oh, I'm doing all these things, why don't I still feel good enough? Mm. And then you can see where that is coming from along the line. You know, it could be yeah. your grandfather, it could be, could be your mum, it could be anybody along that line. But this will, the chair will actually show you from the voice print where those things are coming from. Okay, so how do you, how does the chair work? How does the chair work? It takes, um, the, the chair sits on four magnetic tiles and it's got um, speakers behind your back and underneath you. It's a wooden chair, it's nothing fancy, so you feel the vibrations. And then you've got headphones on and glasses where you keep your eyes closed because it's, um, there's colours, flashing lights there. Now what the whole chair does, it gets you into alpha and beta uh, space all in one go. So your conscious can go into the subconscious and actually do the work because the difficult part is always is getting to the subconscious and changing it because the subconscious is in control all the time consciously you can't do that but the chair creates that that thing for you where you can do both you're, you're awake in a wide awake state where you can actually go in and delete that program and it allows you to do that and then it's permanent once it's gone it's gone yeah yeah so it's almost scary that you're just walking around with all these patterns and like programs inside of you and you have no idea Oh, I, yeah, that's it. You don't have any idea. I mean, my experience was oh my, massive. I, you know, I was always said I'm never going to be like my mum. You know, we we stand us together. We're so different, mm -hmm. really, really different. That you know, there's nothing that's the same as my mum with me. Nothing at all. But after the whole experience in the chair and joining all the dots together, I cry my eyes out. <laughs> I couldn't believe I was my mum. Yeah, <laughs> and that was that was a horrible thing. You know, yeah. it wasn't nice. I mean, I love my mum. That's not, not not the issue here. But I couldn't believe that I was playing out her patterns. And they weren't even applicable to me. Yeah. They were so exaggerated in my life that it was just unbelievable. It really was. Mm. I mean, all I can say is my experience from coming out, out of that chair afterwards has been it keeps you in truth all the time. You, your truth. And before the chair you can be forgiven for doing certain things but afterwards you know exactly what you're doing and you know what your truth is and it will always keep you in truth and once you're in your truth you connect to the source mm. so you know things are okay you just get on with it the hardest part is you know it's like looking at other people when they want you to do things and you're like no my truth says this yeah and i and i can't change it, it does it just brings you so present in dealing with what you're doing mm. i think it's amazing yeah Mm. So how long does this process take? The deep immersion takes a couple of days okay. and you are there working in the chair. Not all the time in the chair, but there's some there's the, the consultation bit that we do at the front which takes a couple of hours. Yeah. But you are looking at six to ten hours a day mm. to do this work. 
and you have such massive aha moments, it's like you go, oh my god. Yeah. There's things that you knew about, but once you come out of the chair, oh my god, you really do know. Mm -hmm. You know, you really have such big, big moments of like, you, you see the truth for what it really is. Yeah. Yeah. And it's only for people who want to change. If you don't want change or you're half hearted about this, don't even do it. Yeah. It's not for you because once you've changed, you've changed. You cannot even go back the old way. It's like taking the blue pill out of the matrix. Okay. <laughs> it really is. You cannot back, you can't go back the other way. Yeah. It, it's going to hurt because your truth is your truth. So it is, it's for people who really want to change and really want to see, you know, joining those dots and seeing how those ancestral patterns have been coming through. And once you've cleared you, you know, you've cleared your grandchildren. Yeah. How amazing is that? And you've also helped your children if you've got children as well. Mm. So if it's out of you, well, that's the main thing. You know, you can yeah. really move, move on forward without thinking, what's holding me back? You know, I'm doing all this stuff. You know, it's like affirmations, being positive. You can do everything, but if that program in you is saying, I'm not good enough, I'll never achieve it, well, you can do anything in the world. That subconscious needs to be changed, and the chair is the only way that I know you can do it. I mean, there's probably other methods on it, but I don't know them. Okay. Mm -hmm. God, that's so interesting, isn't it? Oh, it's fascinating. Yeah. And the presentation is scientifically backed, so for people it's not woo woo yeah. intuition it, it's none of that mm -hmm. stuff you know it's technology it's telling you so when we say you haven't cleared you, we've got proof it's there in front of us saying you haven't cleared yeah yeah so it is you know you've got people like Bruce Lipton on the case and and there's these scientists from Cambridge who who were doing this as well but but not the chair but you know the epigenetics yeah fantastic yeah okay so how do people get this done how do they get in contact with you Go to the website, which is www.inspirationalbalancing.com, okay. and or they can phone 01354 658 Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thanks very much. It's so important that people need to know this, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Oh, it's just so amazing. I could just carry on and on and on. Yeah. But you've caught me off guard here. But I know. You need I'm... to make you some team up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will not. Put on the kettle. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right, say bye. Okay, bye.